Scary. Captain Huckle's starship strikes through the universe on its way past unknown planets through uncharted galaxies and home for supper. To Whoopers Electronic Paradise. May I help you, gentlemen? I'm Mr. Whooper. You kids are in luck because you know what today is? Um, Saturday? Not just any Saturday, son. Today is the grand opening of Whoopers Electronic Paradise. And do I have some deals for you? Mr. Whooper, I want to know how much this electric piano cleaner is? But I don't have an electric piano. Uh, you want one? Mr. Woofer, I'm not interested in any of these things. I want the CD player. Uh, Huckle. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Since it is last week's model, I'll let you have it for $200. But I don't have $200. Come on, Huckle. I'm flexible, son. How much do you have? All I have is 50 cents and my lucky bottle cap. Hmm, I'm afraid I can't sell you the CD player for that, but perhaps you'd be interested in this old record player. <sighs> okay, okay. Boy, you sure know how to bargain, son. My final offer, $150 plus that lucky bottle cap. Mr. Woofer, I'll be back. I've got to get that CD player, Lily. But you can't afford it, Huckle. All you have is 50 cents. And my bottle cap. Look at that poster. I know how I can make that money. We're home! What took you so long, dear? I stopped off at the Busy Town Bugle to get a job. Starting tomorrow, I'm a newspaper delivery boy. I'm saving up to buy a CD player. A CD player? But we have a perfectly good record player. Oh, John, I think it's sweet. Our little boy's first job. And my first CD player, too. Rise and shine, Huckle. Oh, why do we have to get up so early? You know what they say, Loli. The early bird catches the worm. And the CD player. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Frumble. Morning, Professor Doc. Well, 
how was your first day at work, Huckle? Great, except... It's going to take Huckle 15 months to own his CD player. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to be a little patient. Or I could get more customers. More customers? Fill her up, please, Scotty. And how about a subscription to the Busy Town Bugle? How would you like to subscribe to the Busy Town Bugle, April Rhino? Gee, I can't believe how many new customers we have. Are you really sure you know what you're doing? You've got a lot of deliveries to make now. Sure, Lily. Uh-oh. Look at all these papers. I can't possibly deliver them all before school. Of course you can, dear. Come on. I can't believe this. I'm actually going to win this game. I can't remember the last time I won. I've saved up enough money to buy my CD player. Wait for me, Huckle. I'll come with you. Hold on. I haven't won yet. Wow! Uh, Huckle? You know, Lily, I think I'm gonna buy something else. I'll meet you back at home, Lily. How nice. Who are these for? A very special person. Thank you. An apple pie? I think I know who this is for. Thanks, Mr. Humperdinck. I wonder what he bought instead of the CD player. These are for the best newspaper mom ever. And this is for you, Lily. Thanks for helping me. Why, thank you, dear. Wow! Thanks, Huckle. But why didn't you buy the CD player? Because that old record player works just fine. I went to the bank, and I'm gonna save my money for something I really need. A sports car! Wow! <sighs> Whoops! Imagine that! What is wrong with my flower, Lily? I think it needs more sun, Huckle. Here comes the sun, shining so bright. There'd be no life without the sun, you know. Much too cold to live, plants would grow. Darkness all day, and nothing in sight. Without the sun, there would be no light. But what is the sun? A star burning bright, like all the other stars that you see at night. Oh, Janeiro, Brazil, home of the best carnival in the world, during which there's a parade with colorful floats, and the citizens of Rio, called cariocas, dress up in fabulous costumes and compete for prizes. Cucumber and Pickles have come to Rio to photograph the contest. Editor Eddie here. Hi, boss. This is Cucumber and Pickles. We just arrived in Rio. It's about time. Now, I want lots of pictures, especially of the winning costume. Leave everything to me, Eddie. Gotta go. The parade's supposed to start right away. Is it just me, Cucumber? Or do their costumes look a bit ordinary? Pickles? Nobody's wearing costumes. They're all in their underwear. It is the same all along the parade route. All 
the costumes are missing. Oh, this is terrible. We look forward to this parade all year. Where can the costumes be? Pickles, we've got a real mystery on our hands. Shh! Silencio. Fellow citizens, <clears throat> I am afraid I have no choice but to cancel the parade. <clears throat> and the costume contest. Senor Mayor. Who is calling me? I am. Huh? Mayor Pedro, do not cancel the contest. As you can see, I, Marcos Mouse, have a magnifico costume. The costume is indeed impressive, Marcos. So I award you the gold medal for the best costume of the year. Of course, it's also the only costume of the year. Something is fishy here. Whoa! Oh! Excuse us, Marcos. May we ask you a couple of questions? Come on, Pickles. I've got a hunch about those missing costumes. Hurry! Rapido! The parade has started! It has? Sim! That way! Quick! Sim, senor! Quick! Follow that float! Master driver! Rapido! Sim, senor! Don't lose him, driver! I'm going as rapido as I can. I think he is getting away. I will check and see. Oh, for Pete's sake, we could chase him faster on foot. Yeah! <gasps> oh, no! We lost him. But not for long. Come on, we've got to find a camera shop and develop this film fast. Great. A perfect portrait of our prime suspect. Now all we've got to do is find someone who knows who he is. That's a tall order. I mean, there are so many people here, it's a chance and a zillion will bump into someone who knows Marcos. Where did you get that nice photo of Marcos? We took it. We're famous photographers, you know. <gasps> do you know him? Sim. Marcos is my next door neighbor. <clears throat> Yikes! So oh, you did steal all the carnival costumes. Costumes? What costumes? These costumes on the float, which you also stole. Float? What float? That float. Oh, this float. <laughs> Come on, Marcos. We've caught you red-handed. Why did you steal the costumes? I didn't steal them. I only borrowed them. You borrowed them? Why? My costumes are beautiful. But every year, no one looks at me because I am so small. But not this year. I won the gold medal. Not exactly. You cheated to win. I guess so. Uh, I was wrong. Come, let us take the costumes back to the parade before it is too late. Well, in that case, we'll give you a hand. Cucumber is right. I took your costumes. <gasps> I apologize. Here they are again. And you must award the gold medal to someone else. On with the parade. No, no, no. This is all wrong. The costumes are all mixed up. There's no way we'll get this mess straightened out and get the parade started. Wait, I remember them all. Luisa, here is your costume. And Antonio, this one is yours. <laughs> Marcos, you did a very bad thing. But now that you've made it right, you are forgiven. Oh, thank you, senor. I will never steal everyone's costumes again. And to make sure no one is overlooked again, there will be a special category from now on for the smallest, most pequino costume. Obrigado. 
Now let us all dance this samba. Samba! Great pictures, Cucumber. The samba, how do you do it? Play it safe. I think we have everything for camping, Dad. Wait a minute, Huckle. Oh, boy, we're going camping. It's gonna be great. Before we all go camping, there's some things we should take. I'll put some food and water with the gear in my pack, and then I'll carry it on my back. I'll bring some summer clothes to wear where weather is hot. Or some hiking boots and sweaters, because the mountains are not. Anywhere we are, we always stay with our group. And as a grown-up, if it's safe to pick the berries or fruit. Climb and hike, I just can't wait. No matter where we go, it's gonna be great. Oh, boy, we're Forgot. What's that, Huckle? Lowly. I lost my watch. How awful, Mr. Fix-It. I think I need a donut to cheer me up. Hi, Mr. Frumble. Good morning, Whoa. Mr. Frumble. Are you here for the big raffle, Mr. Frumble? Raffle? Mr. Humperdinck is offering a hundred donuts to the winner of his donut raffle. And to make sure that we win, I brought my lucky four-leaf clover card. I'd like to... Wow! Everybody in town must be buying a ticket. Please slow down and be more careful, Charlie. Sorry, Mr. Humperdinck. The baking all these donuts is keeping me really busy. Watch this. There's that spoon. I've been looking all over for it. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Humperdinck. We'd like to buy a raffle ticket. Sure. Here you go, boys. Come on, lucky card. Are you gonna buy a ticket, Mr. Frumble? Oh, no. I'm not lucky enough to win. I can lend him my lucky card. But you've already used it. That's okay. I'll just put the luck back on. Mwah. Mr. Frumble, would you like to borrow my lucky card and buy a ticket? Maybe your luck will change. Do you really think so? Sure. Don't forget to kiss it. Oh, thank you. I'd like to buy a cheering up donut and a raffle ticket, please. Good luck to you, Mr. Frumble. I should put these in a safe place. Here's a good spot. Whoops! Sorry. Oh, my. Oh, my. How wonderful they smell. Well, I've got to get back to the oven. I've got jelly twists twisting and cream puffs puffing. Mmm. Oh, how delicious. Why, this donut is cheering me up already. Hello, Mr. Frumble. I see you lost your hat again. Oh, no, Sergeant Murphy. <laughs> it's right here on my head. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Don't worry, you'll find it. You always do. Oh, dear. Where could my hat be? Whoa! Oh, dear. Oh, my. Mr. Frumble, you found my watch. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Fixit. But I do wish I found my hat. 
Why, maybe I can see my hat from up here. Maybe it's over here. Whoa! Oh, dear. Mr. Frumble! Our kite is stuck in that tree. Could you get it for us, please? Oh, certainly. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Frumble. I'm finding lots of things today, but not my hat. Come on, Mr. Frumble. Mr. Humperdinck is about to announce the winner. Huckle, I'm sorry, but I lost your lucky card. I guess it didn't bring you any luck, Mr. Frumble. Attention, everyone. I will now draw the lucky winning number. And the winning number is... 191. We didn't win. Oh. Oh. Then you must have won, Mr. Frumble. You had my lucky card last. Oh, dear. But your card and my raffle ticket were in my hat. And I lost that, too. Once again, the winning ticket is number 191. Oh, well. Could I please have another cheering up donut? Of course. Which one would you like? That hat-shaped donut over there, please. Hat-shaped donut? I never baked a hat-shaped donut. My hat! I'm sorry. I must have baked it when I was so busy. I guess my lucky card did work. But did you win the raffle, Mr. Frumble? Number 161. Wait a minute. Turn the ticket over, Mr. Frumble. It's upside down. You're right, Loli. It is the winning ticket. I knew my lucky card would work. Congratulations, Mr. Frumble. You've won a hundred donuts. Then donuts are on me. Hooray! Today was your lucky day, Mr. Frumble. You won the raffle and found my watch. And our kite. I do feel lucky to have such good friends. 